critiques know of Carl King, the composer, but from 1910 to 1918, he performed or conducted for <coughs> circus bands. In fact, he was a trombone player for Barnum and Bailey's Ringling Brothers Circus in 1913 and conducted their band in 1917 and 1918. During his tenure as a trombone player with Barnum and Bailey's, he was asked to compose a march for that band. That march is one of the most recognizable pieces of circus music, second to only Kuchik's Thunder and Blazes. King had great chutzpah because even before it had been performed, he named it Barnum and Bailey's Favorite. Imagine the confidence to write a piece of music and then tell your boss, this is your favorite, before the boss even heard it. Please enjoy Barnum, Barnum and Bailey's Favorite. Thank you. 
Thank you.
start an argument in my family, all you need to do is start a discussion about who is the greatest printer of all time. <coughs> Kevin's mother believes it was Bobby Darren. Kevin and I, we're Dean Martin fans. Our two sons are adamant that it is the singer that made the next selection famous. It was written in 1977 for Martin Scorsese's film of the same name, New York, New York. When you hear, excuse me, when you hear what we're about to play, do you think of the original recording by Liza Minnelli? I don't know. I don't know that anyone does. No, you immediately hear the voice of the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra. This is the theme from New York, New York. March tradition. This march is not a march as one might expect. This is a concert march, meaning it was never meant for people to walk or march to. It's a listening march. Another interesting feature of this piece is that there is a grand pause. The entire band stops playing for as long as the conductor sees fit, and then he starts them again. While grand pauses are not <coughs> unusual in music, this one just happens to occur at a point where most of the band has a difficult page turn. So, <laughs> I'm not sure if it was something the composer originally wrote or something the arranger put in to help the band with the page turn. Alexander Tanase's Grand Symphonic March. <laughs>
Nigh every one of these performers volunteer their time every Thursday night for rehearsals and concerts just like this one. Some even travel from two hours away, all for the joy of playing music. They play concerts all around the Puget Sound, and only a few members are few are members of the American Legion, but all of them are valued members of the Department of Washington American Legion Band. <coughs> if you've enjoyed this morning's concert, you may like to find the little box right in front of the band. While the department does support the band, and we all are very grateful, every little bit helps for travel, sheet music, and more. Lastly, if you'd like the band to play for you or your organization, I'll direct you to Laura Ward, our band manager. End of PSA. Join the band. Join the band. Indiana Jones has been a beloved movie character since the early 1980s. Rotten Tomatoes tells us that the, of the five movies, the lowest rank has a 70% approval rating. That would be last year's Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Critics say the one with the highest approval rating of 93% is one of the most consummately entertaining adventure pictures of all time. That, of course, is the original, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> Thank you. 
everyone at the Olympia Yacht Club for allowing to come, for us to come and play for y'all again this year. At every performance of the Legion Band, we take a moment to honor the military veterans in our audience. We will now play the official service song, and when your service song is played, if you like, please stand up and be recognized. Also, we would like the spouses and family members to stand as well, and I will tell you why. Kevin and I were married only four years before he signed the line and put on a uniform. I didn't sign, but just like you, when they went off to work in a uniform every day, at home or on foreign soil, we served our country as well by keeping the home fires burning. We begin with the Army song.
concert is complete without at least one Susan March. And if you're only going to play one Susan March, it must be the March of the United States of America, the Stars and Stripes Forever.